<laughs> One morning I woke up with a strain in my neck. My back was tight. I could tell that I did not sleep right the night before. My nose was dry. It felt like the room was warm with no moisture. I should have turned my humidifier on before I fell asleep, but I must have forgot. I sit up in the bed with black sheets wrapped around me. I stretch my body like a cat does in the morning. My arms shoot to the sky at a 45 degree angle like a firecracker on the 4th of July. With squinted eyes, I look over to the clock that is adjacent to my bed. I see the red letters vividly. It reads 5.45 a.m. I hear a group of birds outside the window sitting on the ledge. Sounds like they are singing back and forth to each other. Maybe they found some berries. They sound so happy. Finally, I take the covers off of me like an orange pill. My feet hit the carpet and then I push forward to finally stand up. The sun is peeking through the blinds, barely on the horizon, starting to come up. My iPhone connected to the charger rings. I'm thinking to myself, who the hell is calling me at five in the morning? I answer the phone confused because I didn't recognize the number. Hello, good morning. The voice on the phone says, are you ready? I pull the phone away from my face, look at the call ID. I respond, ready for what? The voice says, ready to live your life to the fullest. I pull back the phone again. I respond, who is this playing games on my phone? It's too early for this. The voice then turns to my voice. The voice says, this is not a game. Nobody is playing with you. You need to listen to me clearly. Life is an opportunity that you have been wasting. However, everything you have done up until now has been a test. You have not been paying full attention. After this moment, you will pay attention. One day you have life and one day you do not. This is your message from the universe to have fun with life. This is your message from the universe to appreciate your life. This is your message from the universe to appreciate every single day that you have. This is your message from the universe to give your best efforts to your dreams, to your goals, to your love life, to your health, to your friendships, to your family. That little voice continues on and says, you will have pain in life, but you will also have love. The voice said, you will have pain in life, but you will also have love. You will take loss, but you will also win big. There will be stressful moments in life, but you are worthy of inner peace. You will have some fake friends in your circle, but they will always show their true colors. And when they do, you will find the real ones. You will find the real friends. The voice goes on and says, this message is for you. I need you to take time with your life. Be patient. Be compassionate towards yourself. Be more loving. Be more hilarious. Be more sarcastic. Use more humor. Why not? Why be so serious? Yes, there will be hard moments. There will be moments when you don't want to face what you are dealing with. But you have to believe that you are strong enough. Because if you can see this right now, you are strong enough. The voice continued on and said, be accountable for yourself. Be responsible for your own destiny. We don't know if our path has been picked. We don't know. We can't prove that. But I can prove that the effort I put in today creates the results of my life tomorrow. So I'm not going to obsess about tomorrow. I'm not going to obsess and worry and create that negative energy that does not help you. No, you're going to lay a brick. You're going to lay a brick every single day because you're, you're trying to build a house of your dreams. You're trying to build a, a house of inner peace. You're, you, maybe you're trying to build a house of success. Maybe you're trying to build a house of love. Or maybe you play the real estate game and you're trying to build a bunch of houses. We'll call you the Monopoly man or woman. Well, if you're in a game of Monopoly, guess what? You got to lay a brick every single day. 
You got to keep going and passing goal. Lay a brick. Be patient. Be accountable for your dreams. Be responsible with your actions because you're the one saying that you want it. And then the voice said, I challenge you to honor your energy. <laughs> your energy speaks for you as soon as you walk in the room. And if you don't honor your energy, who are you introducing to people? Who are you when you walk in the room? You haven't honored your energy in ages. You're a stranger. You don't even know you. So my challenge to you is to not get down on yourself, not feel bad about yourself, but to smile and to laugh and to create that good energy that you deserve and to simply say, who am I going to give them when I walk in this room? Ooh. And then the voice went away. Free your energy. Free your energy.